Hey there queens and kings, I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I have three wigs. They are brought to you by Hair So Fly Shop. I'll be sure to leave a link below to this wig and also their direct store. The brand of the wig that I have today is Sensational. I have this wig in the style Lace Unit 8. The colors that I have is Money Piece Gold, T4 slash Icy Lavender, and T2 slash Mustard. This is what the inside of the wig looks like. You get two combs that's in the front, not too far from the temple. You get another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. The cap material is a stretch fit breathable material, so that's good for your hair underneath. And the lace color on this is a little brown, so that's more easy for me to work with instead of when it comes all gray. If you are interested in this wig, it does come in a few other color selections, so feel free to check those out. The first color up that we'll be showing telling you guys is Money Piece Gold. Parting space on these wigs comes nicely pre-plugged. The only thing is the front by the parting space. I don't like how they blocked it with some hair. So I'm just gonna go in with a T-pin and just pluck a few strands out one at a time and make a little pathway in the start of the parting. This is what it looks like after I'm all done. And right here is the amount of hair I plucked from the parting space. The texture on these wigs kind of come with a shine, so in order to dim down that shine, I'm going to go in with my favorite dry shampoo for my synthetic wigs, which is just this camera dry volume shampoo. I'll be sure to leave the link below. And I just run it over and spray it on the top a few times. And don't laugh at me, but I can't find my brush. So I'm just going to go in with this little edge brush to help brush the product into the hair to help dim down the shine. And if you would like to cut off that extra lace in the front, just cut right along the hairline. Be careful and take your time. The next color up is T4 slash Icy Lavender. The same thing I did with the first color, I went ahead and did with this. I just plucked the beginning of the parting space. And then after that, I go in and dim down the shine again with some dry shampoo. The same one, Kenra Dry Volume Shampoo. And the last color is T2 slash Mustard. Okay, so first up here is the Money Piece Gold color. And I must be honest with you guys, like these wigs that I have today with these color choices, to me, they just kind of feel like costume wigs to me. So don't feel no type of way, but they're still cute. They're really still cute. Then I'm my kind of wig. You know, I'm a 13 by 6 girl, 13 by 4 lace frontal girl pre-plucked, you know. But yeah, so I am getting tangling on this wig. Shedding was pretty low. As for the density, the density is not too thick, not too thin. It's on the medium side. This wig is definitely big head friendly. If you have a big head, you are in for the clear. If you have a small head, just tie the adjustable straps. So I'm going to show a case the next color for you guys and tell you guys a little bit more details.
So these wigs aren't bad if you're like a beginner person and you don't want the frontal, you just want like a wig, you could cut the lace, apply your powder, concealer, foundation, and a parting and just go. Cause this wig is also not that bad in a color too, or just a natural color in general. The length of these wigs on me, I would say is about 20 to 22 inches. My height is a five, six. This color is actually not bad. I like it as the right side more. The middle part just eh, 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 wasn't working for me. There is a little bit of tangling on this one, nothing too hectic. As for shedding, I believe shedding was low. Nothing too crazy, nothing too bad. I like how the tracks is covered up in the back and I also like the density on the wig. Like I said, it's not too thick, not too thin, but I like how it fits the wig. Really nice for everyday kind of density. So, hmm. Hmm, the parting space looks really nice as well. And if you have any questions, comment below. Let's get on to the next color. For a few years now, I have been dying to try a yellow wig and this one, like, I don't know, it's just giving me costume vibes. Maybe it's the hairline, how it's so round, it's just nothing about it, it's pre-plucked. But otherwise, I like the yellow, I like how the roots fade into the yellow. I just wish the hairline could have been a little bit more pre-plucked. Like, I don't know, just giving me helmet vibes, but the wig isn't bad. I still want to showcase the wigs because I know a lot of people ask me about this wig and what I think about it. And to be honest, they're pretty cute. I don't think the quality will last that long on these wigs, but if you need this wig for a special event or anything, it's really not that bad. And like I said, they're kind of costume wigs to me. So, you know, if you need a little costume wig in your life, this ain't bad. But the side part is really nice and I really love how that wave by my eye just looks so nice and wavy right there so if you have any questions feel free to comment below and i get back to them as soon as possible and i'll see you guys on my next video stay safe stay blessed like comment subscribe later you guys